If your children have anaphylactic allergies, you know how tricky it can be to keep them safe. Many schools have banned peanuts. Those with bee sting allergies are armed with EpiPens. But tonight's Inside Story is about a deadly allergy that is almost impossible to protect against, particularly in Canada. Avery? Well, Roger, uh, Dawn Taylor is a Toronto mom who actually contacted me on Twitter, asked me to tell her daughter's story because so few people, not her friends, her teachers, even her doctors, believe the allergy that her little girl has, nor do they believe the fact that that allergy can kill her. This is Paige Taylor's Inside Story. Paige Taylor is 10 years old, a quiet grade 5 student who these days, when the recess and lunch bell rings doesn't go out to play. Instead, she makes a beeline for the principal's office. I have to stay in the office all the time and it's really boring. I really want to go outside and play. Paige isn't sitting here because she's been naughty, but because what lurks outside could kill her. I'm just really scared that something's going to happen to me. And when the temperature drops, those fears rise. Her enemy can't even be seen, but it imprisons Paige for months on end. She has a severe anaphylactic allergy to the cold. This terrifies you. Yes, she's missed months of school because of it. And it, it just breaks my heart. Cold surfaces, cold food, cold air, cold water. Ice cream? Ice cream, popsicles. Popsicles, swimming. It's called cold urticaria. It can be life-threatening, just like a food allergy or a medication allergy or a stinging insect allergy. When Paige gets cold, this is what happens. Chicken pox-like spots cover her entire body. I get itchy and sometimes it's hard to breathe and then I get spots all over me. When do you start fearing the weather? Now. Now. Right now. This week. Paige would start off with her undershirt, shirt, dress. This is what winter means in a house where the cold can kill. Jacket, neck warmer, and a scarf. And sometimes even all that isn't enough to protect Paige. If we open the door and it's too frosty out, I, I just won't send her because going from here to the bus stop, it's too scary. Scary and frustrating too, because it's so rare, few have ever even heard of an allergy to the cold. Nobody knows anything about the allergy, any teachers, most doctors, they've never heard of it, and I've been called a liar actually quite a few times. Do the other kids believe you? Well, some of my friends do, but some of them, they don't really play with me because they think I'm telling a lie to them. In the bid to change that, Dawn has set up this foundation and website, connecting more than 400 people from around the world with cold urticaria. If I could see the tears in some of the letters that I've received from people just begging for doctors just to research it, we want to try and get answers. Back at school, where Paige is reveling in the final days of fall, the wish is simpler. I wish the kids would disbelieve me that I can be allergic to the cold. And so, I mean, this is something that she's battling mm -hmm. not only because of the, th the threat of the temperature as it drops, but also the fact that so few people people believe her. There's, there's a very simple test, by the way, if anyone's wondering whether or not they have an allergy, because there can okay. be an extreme range, right? I mean, yep. this she does have a severe, uh, severe allergy. If you take an ice cube and just place it on your hand for uh, three minutes and then mm -hmm. take it off, most people, it'll be a little bit red and then go away. If you develop a hive, that's an indication that you might have an allergy, have an allergy to the cold. To the cold. Yeah. Well, a lot of people do. Has, I, mean, I might have missed it, but is, are they at the point they've considered are trying to move even? They came from Calgary, which yeah. is where they used to live, and the temperature colder. there was yeah. even colder. And then they realized because of this foundation, uh, people have reached out to her from all over the world, including Africa and mm -hmm. warm parts of the U.S. who also have this allergy. It's more about the moisture in the air than it is the temperature oh, really? outside. Okay. Yep. And air conditioning is just as deadly as the, te the cold breeze, so that doesn't really alleviate it if you move oh, to a warm country. Goodness. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot. So there's a just, horrible situation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but the foundation will have details on our website on how you can get a hold of that foundation if you want to as well. Dawn did reach out to me on Twitter uh, to tell tonight's inside story. You can too. Uh, you just have to reach me at, um, uh, at City Avery. We're also on Facebook, The Inside Story with Avery Haynes. And The Inside Story runs every Tuesday and Thursday on City News. And all the segments are up on our website, citynews.ca.